it seems very likely that the temporary bridge is fully assembled. Now we await installation. There are no obvious components awaiting assembly and today did not bring new deliveries. So it appears that work is focused on completion of the structure. It's not uncommon for iron workers to assemble a structure, then follow up, tightening and checking the torque on the various components. It seems very likely that's the case here. Meanwhile, on the west side, work continues around the remains of the Trunnions. After a century in service, some components are putting up stiff resistance. Things take a serious turn when a rock hammer is introduced. It quickly turns out that concrete on the east side is getting attention too. The iron workers will spend most of the day working their way along the structure, ensuring specifications for construction are met. By early afternoon, additional resources are being focused on the preparation of the east wall. This view offers a good look at what will become the pedestrian walkway. And if you ever wondered what an industrial strength torque wrench looks like, here you go. There's a pretty powerful nut driver in service, too. Some of you might be wondering what was going on on the west side. And here's the answer. Here, too, where the bridge will have to rest, cleaning up is taking place. It's a ticklish job around all that conduit, but the supports must be clean and clear. Local residents appear entirely unmoved by all the activity and the water taxi just keeps rolling back and forth. Join me for the next update and thanks for watching.